So I was taking my eight year old son to school the other day and he looked kind of miserable. So I said to him, did you know that if you put a smile on your face, <laughs> you'll change your physiology and you'll become happy. And he kind of looked at me. So I said, do you know what physiology means? He said, no. So I explained. And when I got done, I said to him, oh, I said, do you want to give it a try? And he said, no. And I said, well, don't you want to be happy? And he said, well, no, I want to be how I am. And when he said this, immediately I was, my mind was blown, you know, because the profundity of what he was saying was very clear for me. And that is about self-acceptance. You know, this is definitely something I've struggled with in the past, just not being okay with whatever is going on for me. You know, oftentimes we can negate our negative emotions, negative feelings. So this can lead to kind of a form of delusion or at least, you know, wearing a mask where we're not really acknowledging what is real for us. And then in this way, when we're interacting with other people, we're not being honest, which kind of affects our relationships too. And beyond this, this can lead to things like depression, anger, rage, you know, because we're suppressing our emotions essentially. And really what's going on is we're rejecting a part of ourselves. And this leads us to being fragmented or kind of, you know, not whole in, in a lot of ways. So coming to understand this deepening of connection to self, we really need to understand about the shadow and about what we would say is bad or, or negative emotions and realize that these emotions are part of us, whether that's fear, anger, jealousy, hate, whatever's there, you know, it is a part of the whole and there's nothing wrong with it, right? In life, life has no inherent meaning, only the meaning that we give it. So when we're feeling these sensations in the body, these emotions, although they may be uncomfortable to us, there's nothing inherently bad about them. So how do we go about incorporating these emotions as part of ourselves? Well, really, it's about love. And love really is about acceptance. We talk about unconditional love. Well, when we're feeling these emotions, can you love these emotions? Can you start to actually embrace them and not push them away? Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, it might be painful. And we can still love we can still love them at the same time. And this is really what it's about. So another thing is to hold space for these emotions, whether that means, you know, having time, giving ourselves specific time to feel what we're feeling, to go through what we're going through. These are all different options available to us. And here's a practice I find really helps really well is whenever we're experiencing negative emotions is to ask ourselves if a six-year-old was to come to us saying that they feel sad, lonely, depressed, whatever, how would we deal with that child? You know, how would we respond? What, what are some of the things we might say? Would we comfort them? You know, how would we be with them? And this is really a great way then to be with ourselves because we realize actually a lot of these emotions or a lot of these uncomfortable sensations are coming from the child aspect of ourselves. So again, learning to love and accept all of our range of emotions is imperative for us to be whole and to stay in good vibrational alignment and really just for our well-being, just to feel good, right? So this is really why we would like to hold space for these feelings and, and really just allow ourselves to be however we are, essentially. So inner bliss and outer prosperity to you take care of yourself